Hey guys, Tortoise Cashflow. In this video, I'm just going to take a look at this keyword service that I've been using that makes it really easy for you to find your own keywords and it just streamlines the process and I've been using it a lot and I've found so many keywords. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing Keyword Chef. So let's get started. So here's the tool here, keywordchef.com. You see I have 267 credits, so I've used a few of my credits. When you first make a, an account for this website, you get 1,000 credits for free. And each credit is basically one keyword. So you start out with a thousand credits, so you get a thousand keywords. You can go over here and you can buy some more keywords or some more credits if you want. So the starter plan is 20 bucks and you get 1,200 credits, which comes out to about 17 cents per keyword. You do hundred bucks, which it comes out to about one cent per keyword. But you can really get a ton of keywords, even more than a thousand, even though you're only given a thousand credits, you can really get a lot more keywords than that all for free so you can you can really try out this plugin a lot without even spending any money on it which I'm going to show you how to do so first let's look over the questions real quick so what is a credit it's basically one keyword uh, if you go over your credits during a search then for example if you only had a thousand credits but your search came out to like five thousand keywords you would only have to pay the credits that you have and the rest of it would be basically free um, so how do you know that how many credits your report will return so as you're looking up the keywords, it's going to show you how much credits you're going to use. Um, and also, all your searches that you do for keywords will be saved in your reports, which I'm not going to click that because then you'll see my report and see my keywords I'm going for. But right there, you'll click that and you can see all the reports that you've done so far. So if you want to find keywords, you just go here to discover. They have this new tab option here, so you can, if you want best articles, then you can click that, compare, so versus, how-to guides, most, alternative. I normally stick with questions because I do a lot of informational articles because nowadays Google is pretty uh, aggressive towards affiliate content. There's been the December update and the April update where Google has just destroyed affiliate websites. So you really want to have like an 80 to 20% ratio, 80% informational, 20% affiliate. At least that's what I try to stick towards just to make my site more uh, less susceptible to those updates. But anyways, you just go here and you'll do keyword so if you wanted to do like a campfire you just type in campfire and it'll give you so it shows you here it's going to cost you 323 credits because it's going to give you 323 keywords so one credit per keyword and this gives you a few sample keywords and you can if you don't want it to include anything with smoke then you can uh, ignore that if you don't want it to have anything with smell you can get rid of that and then you can see each time this is how much credits you're going to use and you don't use any credits until you actually click get keywords otherwise it's all free so right here you're basically getting free keywords here that you could copy and post to here and there you go you got keywords and now you can cancel the search and then you can do another one so you can do fire for example wait for it to load up and now you have some more keywords on fires that you can copy and paste and if you ever wanted to get the full see this one here is going to cost a thousand credits so if you did like these keywords and you thought they were pretty good then you can go and press get keywords and then you'll get all of the keywords. One downside about the service that kind of sucks is if you have one keyword that's like how to start a campfire and then another keyword is what's the best way to start a campfire and then another keyword might be uh, what to use to start a campfire, stuff like that. They're all basically the same thing, but those would each count. That would count as three keywords. So that's the, that's the major downside to this service is that keywords that are pretty much the same, it'll count towards this. But for $20 to get a thousand keywords, out of those thousand keywords, you're probably gonna actually only get like a hundred. But even a hundred keywords out of a thousand is still pretty good. But still, you can still get a lot of keywords without spending anything. So I just did that, I did fires, I did campfires. You could do fire pit. And now you have even more keywords. Uh, you do, you could do like s'mores. Now you have more keywords. And the thing about Keyword Chef is it finds keywords that what it's ranking for are usually either forums or low domain authority sites. So chances are that a lot of these keywords you're going to be able to rank for. But obviously you don't want to just see the keyword and write for it. You want to go ahead and copy this and go ahead and search it and just see what shows up. So can you make blaze rods with a campfire? How to make a blaze rod in Minecraft. So this is this is uh, has to do with the game. So 
That's not really what we're looking for here. What caused the campfire in California? What can you make with campfire and little alchemy? So that's a game. What is the best what is the best wood for a campfire? Seems a little affiliate based. So this will probably be competitive. Maybe. So you have SS fire pits, getting the snippet. Six of the best types of wood. What's the best wood? So seems pretty competitive there. Uh, can you get a tan from a campfire? Can't imagine there's a lot of articles written about that. So you see Reddit is winning the snippet, Core is the next in line, then Reddit again, then another forum, do bonfires give you tans, another forum. So this one would easily be, uh, this one you could easily rank for. Now you see that it says zero search volume, but I've actually written a lot of articles that says there's zero search volume and I end up getting hundreds of views per day. So there's really no telling how much this actually is because this is never accurate. Plus the amount of variations from this keyword is, I mean, there could be hundreds of variations. I mean, even this does fire emit UV, that could be another heading inside of your article because UV light gives you, would be what gives you a tan. So that would be another keyword there. Still zero search volume, but you do enough of these and like sunburn from a fire, that's another heading. So there's a bunch of keywords that would potentially rank for that article or that article would potentially rank for a bunch of keywords and see this would be another easy to rank for uh, I think this would be the same article it would just be a separate heading but you could do a separate article if you wanted and it looks like this one's pretty easy to rank for too so that's the gist of the service it's relatively cheap like it came out to like a cent per keyword of course some keywords are going to be not usable and some keywords are the same as others just a different variation so with 20 bucks, you get a thousand credits. You might get a hundred keywords. That's about five keywords per dollar. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Actually, five keywords per dollar. So if you mean you spend 20 bucks, get a hundred keywords. That's going to be good enough for a long time. If you want to check out the service, I'll go ahead and link it in the description. I don't think that they have an affiliate program, but if they do, then I'll sign up for it. Anyways, if you like the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.